I mean, this is what they did to ours. The Worley brothers furious that someone took what looks like a straight razor Monday to their rainbow flag on Pennsylvania Avenue in Lovettsville. I mean, I was pretty angry just because it's 2021 and I figured we were kind of over that. Next door at a home with two wives, four kids and nine chickens. <laughs> there's lots of eggs in this house. <laughs> I think actually there's a member in the community that's going to take the slashed flags that we have and make, and make art. Neighbors had brought a replacement before yeah. Cheryl Fry and Chris Consol even realized their flags had been vandalized too. Uh, just to demonstrate that we will not be hidden and we will not be cowed. But the crimes escalated from vandalism to theft. Then Wednesday morning we woke up and our neighbor came by and said, your two flagpoles are now empty and they're laying on the ground. And it was a Black Lives Matter flag and the trans flag. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Office has stepped up patrols here and detectives are investigating this wave of thefts and vandalism as possible hate crimes. This is not reflective of the community that we've got overall. This is a small town. This is Mrs. Mayberry, right? All of our kids go to the same schools. We all go to the same restaurants. But in the face of apparent hate, the victims say they have been overwhelmed by love. We lost two flags off the fence. There's probably a dozen or more flags that are flying in town on houses where they never flew before. Seemingly everywhere in town now, the pride flags are flying. And that's really the only way that you can beat hate, right? Is to, um, is to love. In Lovettsville, Virginia, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. A GoFundMe to buy security cameras and replacement flags has already collected more than $1,000. But some of the victims say if you really want to be LGBTQ proud or an ally, just buy a flag and fly it at your home.